Hello everyone, this is Anayat Meer with my Windows Server 2016 environment. You are looking at this work group DC 2018. This is a Windows 2016 operating system. I am running a static IP address. Also, you will see my DNS address which will be my client's DNS address as well. But you have to point your own DNS to yourself from your server. The scenario you can see on the right side, what I have done offline is installed my ADDS binaries. You can get them from your dashboard. So currently host name is there, work group is there, IP address is there. I am just going to show you from my dashboard that Active Directory Domain Services or ADDS binaries have been installed already. So I am not going to do that one again. I cannot do that. All you have to go to the notification side on the top right side here. You click on this yellow triangle. Click on promote this server to a domain. So you are going to promote this work group to a domain. Prerequisites were that you have to add ADDS binaries. Now we are not going to make this a backup domain controller. We are not going to make this server a child domain. We are going to make a root domain. I selected a name training.com. This will be a global catalog server. And this will be a DNS which is not optional. You have to install DNS with your domain. So this is a requirement. Windows Server 2016 is my default forest functional level. Also, my default domain functional level. But you can take a look uh, by scrolling down this tab for your available options. You can go to previous versions of operating system. It all depends that if you have some Windows Server 2012 or maybe some older than 2012 such as Windows Server 2008 R2 environment. So you can change your forest functional level and your domain functional level at this time. You also can see that <coughs> excuse me, uh, domain name system DNS and global catalog. So these are the options you can see. But I am leaving as it is as Windows Server 2016. I am leaving my global catalog server and domain name system DNS as it is. You are going to type here the password. This password is not the password what we use to log into your server or to your domain. This is a directory services restore mode password. So that password has to be uh, placed in a safe location. So whenever you need it, you can come back and get it. So my training is also my net bias name. I'm leaving it. I'm not changing it. I will leave my default locations. <coughs> Here you can uh, view the script if you want to. You can copy that script and you can modify as needed. So you can promote server through the PowerShell. So let's wait for the prerequisite checks. So prerequisites check has to be passed. Otherwise, you have to look at the error. <coughs> Excuse me and fix that error and come back and rerun this wizard again. So far, I don't see any issue with this. So my all prerequisites checks passed successfully. So I am good to go. I am going to run this visit to promote a domain. I will briefly do this fast forwarding. Uh, here, but I would like you to see the progress on the top. So at least one time you see what progress is actually uh, I have right now. So this is uh, starting and then we're going to install DNS server. 
we're going to have a, a group policy management and we're going to have those schema partition configuration partitions just uh, take a look on these options while we are promoting lsa is a local security authority you are installing actually dns also during this visit you are securing kerberos policy and we are done to promote this pc as a domain domain name is training.com after you finish automatically your server reboots you can log in back with the domain administrator but let me show you i do have another pc at the other end i promoted that pc as a work group once we log in to the dc then we're gonna visit to my second client computer that is running windows 10 operating system so let this server get some refreshed and i'm switching back to my client 02 client 02 is a work group computer at this time i am planning to i am planning to join this windows 10 to the domain this is the host name client 02 you can use control space system to go to your system properties that is where you can look at the information about the server or about the client operating system memory work group so i am going to join this to training.com domain so make sure that you are communicating with the server so uh, for that you have to see the ip address your preferred dns has to be the domain's ip which is already so we are good actually you also verify if you can ping your domain so you can or you should talk to your domain your domain should talk to you so this is important otherwise uh, you may have some issues to join the domain so we verified if you want to see uh, ipv4 you have to use a minus 4 switch so we are good to join the domain definitely so from your local servers you see that uh, back to the domain we have now workgroup changed to training.com domain console active directory users and computers is now available back to the client computer to join the client because i clicked on computers container at my domain side so once you join and client computer started uh, rebooting when it starts rebooting you actually can go back to the active directory under computers container you should see this new computer account so once you get this message that mean your account is already created into your domain so let's restart and switch back to the domain to verify that we have an account we don't okay refresh it here we go we got it okay so we are now having one client the idea is on this small pop-up window which tells you that you can grow your network like that adding your client computers one by one or as required from my explorer i am using here two drives c as a local drive and all files as a second drive in my client i have only one drive under dns we should have two computers a host record one is a dc under forward lookup zone and training.com and one is a client 02 so we do have both records we are good 
from the client side you can log in to the domain so by default you will see the way i was logged in before you can click on other users when you log in from client computers using a root domain admin account you have to use first domain name training then backslash administrator then you can use your root domain administrator password now you will go through the old traditional way what microsoft has you will see your profile visit is running we are happy you are here but actually i am not happy to see this all uh, yes we are now grown up so we shouldn't waste these many minutes here but let me give you a small brief about this small project so i am working on another project which uh, will be related to the type of one hypervisor vmware but before that here i am using this domain on request so it is a very simple straight forward way to use this option you can download the iso from microsoft uh, for 180 days you can rearm uh, after 180 days for four more months each 30 days is a grace period by using uh, a rearm feature rearm i have a separate video that will show you how to do it uh, but anyways uh, we are back into the client computer i configured the internet on this computer and to my domain we are using a default gateway i can go to my command line and validate Uh, access to the internet by going to ping yahoo dot com. But anyways, I was talking about my other videos. I will come back with my a lot of other new videos, including VMware. So thank you for watching. We have the internet. See you in my next video. Bye.